with the fourth pick in the 2003 NBA draft, the Toronto Raptors select Chris Bosh from Georgia Tech University. The NBA in the new millennium could be argued to be the best time to be a fan with the game of basketball, as with the amount of talent that has came along and went, and graced us with their skillful artistry and God-gifted abilities to obviously entertain and inspire whoever was and is willing to glance at it for the legendary moments with the extreme popularity of the internet. And good lord was the talent for the bigs legendary, being loaded with individuals that would go on to revolutionize the positions and change the game, giving bigs more of the freedom to not be one dimensional and show multiple aspects of the game. You got the greatest ones who are commonly talked about like Timmy, KG and Dirk, and the ones who are overshadowed by the greater ones but were granting their own rights still at the end of the day that left the imprint like Powell and C-Webb who are two of our entries on the snub list. These guys will go on to leave an imprint on a generation of ballers to come. With that being said, I would like to introduce you to the player who was also important to the change of the game but does not get his due credit. He has been forgotten disrespected and underappreciated about the input he has left on the game of basketball for bigs with floor spacing, parading off the dribble, having range past the perimeter, and overall stretching the floor while still managing to go to work in the post. Please meet Christopher Weston Bosch, known to all of you as Chris Bosch, the forgotten skilled great big of the 2000s and the early to mid 2010s. Drafted with the fourth pick by the Raptors in the legendary 2003 draft, he immediately showed off his talent and ability, displaying a unique type of skill set for a big that gave him an advantage and made up for the disadvantages he had against his oppo opponents, showing flashes of being one of the best bigs in the game for the future. At a near seven foot, he had the unique ability to handle the ball well for his size, had a nice smooth shooting touch from the mid and had a range from the perimeter while also still doing damage from the post with his face up game. With his ball handling and range blended with athleticism, he could put the ball on the floor, create off the dribble and attack the link to get to the cup and finish. He was at a disadvantage physically due to his lack of strength he possessed compared to most at his position. So as a result, he had to rely on his skillful talent to have an impact on the game in an individual one-on-one -on -one aspect. The Raptors were in a dark place as they lost their first ever franchise star in Vince Carter and Bosch would become their bright light that would shed energy and shine light to rejuvenate them. In his third season, he would break out as not only one of the best young talents in the league, but also as one of the best and talented bigs in the game, averaging 22 and nine, making his first all-star team in 2006, establishing himself as the new face of the franchise. From 2006 to 2010, he would average a consistent 23 and 10, leading the franchise to the postseason in consecutive years in 2007 and 2008 as their main guy, averaging 21 and nine. But the franchise will not gain any major success as they will get eliminated both times in the first round, leading Bosch to seek for greener pastures after the 2010 season. He will go on to sign with the Miami Heat, joining forces with two of the best in the world at the time, who are also his fellow peers from the 03 draft, in Dwayne Wade and LeBron James. The three will form a dynamic trio with Bosch being an extreme integral piece to the team system. With their fast pace, fast break, open space, athletic run, and up and down the floor style of play, the system will complement Bosch's skill set. As with his range, ball handling, and athletic endurance, he will become the athletic stretch five who could run the floor and hit deep shots while still being a great pro presence when needed. He also anchored the defensive end with Udonis Haslam. They will go on to run the league and reign supreme in the Eastern Conference. As from 2010 to 2014, they will win their division each year and make four straight finals appearances, winning two in the process, with Bosch playing a major role in their legendary run of success and glory. Examples, you may ask? Game four, Eastern Conference semifinals against the Celtics, puts up 20 and 12, along with a big tipping basket to seal the victory from Miami in overtime. Game three of the 2011 finals, he hits a big shot in the, in the left wing that will eventually help them win a difficult game on the road against this underrated Mavs team. 
2012 Eastern Conference Finals against the Seas, he hits big time threes to defeat them in game seven, putting up 19 points. And if you want a specific moment that signifies his impact and greatness, here is Chris Bosch's iconic moment. Game six of the 2013 Finals against the Spurs. Everyone loves to talk about one of the greatest shots ever in basketball history by one of the greatest shooters ever in Ray Allen. But that shot would not have been possible if it wasn't for Chris, Chris's huge rebound and pass, along with the huge block he had after that on Danny Green to secure the game six win to ultimately save the Heat season as they would force a game seven that will ultimately lead them to win the championship. Well, I have given you everything about the legendary greatness of Chris Bosh, from the skill set, talent, ability, impact, clutch moments, and accolades. He checks off every categorical box to be on the list, but yet he is not on there. Why is that? I believe the reasons for why he was left off the list was simple. He was overshadowed by his big man peers who gained ultimate success as either the main or second option. But when you're facing household names who are the greatest bigs ever in Duncan, KG, and Dirk constantly, there's nothing much that could be done. Another reason that links together that is unfortunate is injuries and the belief that he can't be the main guy to lead a team. But that is unfair. During his time in Toronto, Bosch had to carry the significant load as the team was not playoff worthy without him. As they were not an attractive destination at the time to attract big time stars and as a result, he, also, he always suffered nagging injuries that will plague him in times when the franchise needed him. And as their best player with no one to rely on, he maximized his abilities to the best he can and led them to success with making it to the postseason. But I think the greatest attribute that stands out the most about Bosch that seems to get highly overlooked and he does not get any credit for is the sacrifice he had to make in his career individually in order to win. Bosch left the Raptors at the age of 25 to in order to join the Heat. Put that into perspective, most entered their prime around age 25 to 27, and Bosch was already having his best years individually before that. And yet he sacrificed individualism as being the face of a franchise that needed a star in order to stay afloat, to become the third option that had to take a back seat and play a different role with the chance of competing and winning championships. If he once stayed in Toronto, he wouldn't have racked up more individual accolades as with Tim, Dirk, and KG out of their primes, he could have gotten more of the recognition for the impactful talent he was. And he had an opportunity to build on his resume after LeBron left Miami in 2014, which he took full advantage of, being a top two option with D-Wade, averaging 20 and 7. But unfortunately, things would take a dark turn after he was diagnosed with having blood clots which will ultimately lead to him having to retire when he still had a whole lot left in the tank to dominate. To conclude, in my opinion, Chris Bosh is at the top of the list when it comes to underrated greats, and he does not get the credit for changing the game for the talent of the bigs to do it all from all facets of the game. He was an 11-time All-Star, All-NBA player, and a two-time champion. He was extremely skilled, athletic, came up big in moments when his team needed hope, a huge competitor, and he battled it out with some of the greatest bigs to ever touch the court and held his own. And more importantly, sacrificed a lot of his individual self in order to play the team game and be known as something great in the sport, a winner. <laughs> if that did not give you an understanding, just know he did not have any signature badges in 2K13 or 14. The disrespect is real. <laughs> but with that being said, in your eyes, does he have a case to be on the list?